Cameron Stretton, and I thought I'd do a late night live to talk about um, a few of my um, new acoustic guitars. I'm really excited about it. I've been playing them for a while, all around at work, they're all available. Um, but I want to quickly just run through things. So, this is our classical guitar. Um, this one's 300 quid. It's really awesome. Um, it's kind of like a step up. It's the only guitar you're going to ever need or want. If you like classical guitar. So I bought this along just for comparison in body sizes. Mm -hmm. And here I've got this is par sized guitar. So it's a full size guitar, um, but it's just a smaller body than the Grand Auditorium and the Dreadnought that is behind it. So this is basically the three different shapes of guitars to this range. And the whole point is that it covers absolutely every area. Um, any guitar that's small, one with you big, small, um, long arms, short arms, um, this covers absolutely everything. Now, this guitar is cute, so cute, it's a parlor guitar. Um, and I don't know why they call it parlor, I imagined that it was like from the olden times when someone was like sitting in the parlor in the performance room or something. Um, and this is more of the shape of a guitar, an acoustic guitar, how they were a um, hundred years ago. So this would be a full-size acoustic guitar then. And it's only been more, much more sort of recently in the last 50 or years, so years, um, that we've come up with the big dreadnought size body. <clears throat> and this one's a, a mahogany. So it's using mahogany wood. It's like about 150 quid. Absolutely perfect. Someone wanting to learn and to get a really nice guitar. There is so much difference between um, these, this price band of guitars, the only 50 quid stuff that you may be able to find out there. I'm trying to just run around some simple um, C, A minor, E minor, G chords, just between these guitars, so you can kind of hear the difference there. Now, that was the smaller bodied uh, part of the guitar. Um, here, I'm going for, this is slightly bigger, and we call this the Grand Auditorium. Mm -hmm. It's got a bigger difficult to see, let's see. So that one's wider. Uh, this has also got the cutaway. So the body's got this curved cutaway a bit. That'd be only there, really, so you can try and get these top end uh, frets and notes. How often do you do you play there? Often, but it's kind of nice. This one again is the more full mahogany body um, selection of words. So that's mahogany on the back, mahogany on the side, mahogany on the top, um, mahogany for the neck and the head. And this one's got a purple heart rose board, uh, purple heart fretboard. Uh, rather than the rose board wood that we used to use, um, and it, it feels great. And we're in the knowledge that we're not over farming rosewood trees. Yeah, it feels nice and smooth. This guitar um, is the electroacoustic um, version, so you can plug this into an amplifier either with a regular um, 
with a regular guitar lead there. And this is where the battery uh, fits to power. Um, Pre-amplifier. And this one's got um, your built-in tuner, um, very handy. And of course, all your controls uh, for the volume and the tones when you're plugging in. So you'd go for this kind of thing if you were busking, if you wanted to turn up for uh, open mic nights, local pub gigs, you just take your guitar on and hopefully plug into their PA system. And that's why you'd go for that. If moving on from that though, if you want just like a pure out and out guitar um, to play, just for yourself, your friends, for your just acoustic, this guitar here, a new one to the range, is the best guitar in the world. It's the best available guitar in the world. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> this one's 200 quid. It's got a solid spruce soundboard. It's got the wood binding around the neck. It's got these lovely tuning um, machine heads. They're, they're perfectly accurate. And that's not even the start of it, right? So the, the woods are the best that can be. Here we've got this open pour satin back, moldy back. And the guitar just rings out. The action on them come out of the box perfect. And the reason this is the best guitar in the world, for 200 quid, there is just not a better one. You don't need any better amounts of wood than this. Yeah, if you want a fancy logo, um, two grand, five grand. But even better, right, and this makes this the absolute winner. 200 quid, solid top, it rings out forever, perfect action. Oh. And of course, it's strand pain. But this is a built in beveled edge armrest. So, if I was sitting playing the guitar, usually with a big body one like this, some kind of slouched over it. And the edge is always, always digs into me. I'm not bothered. It's just like part playing the guitar, and you'll get like a crease in the string. But this is so much better. It's the perfect rest. So you, you can kind of huddle up to the guitar. Holding the body with easy slide axis over there. So I'm just playing the same kind of chord through with these, just a lackadaisical to um, show you the difference. But of course, with the plectrums. The thing about the woods on it, it just keeps vibrating forever. So the harmonics. It just keeps going. It's ringing, it's ringing. And that's the combination of the spruce, uh, solid spruce soundboard uh, with the mahogany back. with um, these ones. Uh, this week I'll be doing some of the full daytime at work videos, um, but I'm really excited at how cool this is. 200 quid. It is the best available guitar in the world. Yeah. Um.